This episode is brought to you by Bulletproof Script Coverage, where screenwriters go to get their scripts read by top Hollywood professionals. Learn more at CoverMyScreenplay.com. The one, th- the one thing I, I, I and I just I literally just had Chris on a couple weeks ago uh, again yeah. because it was 25th anniversary of Writer's yeah. Journey. Yeah, and I was on, and, I was on the tribute. Yeah, yeah, and he, and he's. I mean, I love Chris to death. And the one thing I was talking to him about in regards to plot and character, plot and character, because that, that's always a lot of people are like, oh, I'm plot first only. It's oh, I'm only character based, or I'm, or I, you know, theme and all the. And people just try to pigeonhole themselves. But the one thing I, I, for, I think it was him, or I think it was a, another guest that I spoke to. But this concept of all the great movies, what do you remember? Do you remember the plot, or do you remember the character? Like I vaguely remember, I know. I, I mean, I've seen all the Indiana Joneses. I remember Indiana Jones, I, and I do remember some parts of Raiders of the Lost Ark's plot, like quote unquote plot. But I remember Indiana Jones. So characters yeah. are what we we don't identify with plot as a as a species. We identify with other human beings, other characters, the characters, yeah. And yeah. that's what you connect with. Like you connect with Andy Dufresne in Shawshank. You know, the plot yeah. is the plot is fantastic, and and but it's all about his yeah. experience yeah. in that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you ever heart chart Shawshank? Yes, I did. Um, Frank, um, um, Frank and I go way back. We did Frankenstein together. That was the last film he didn't direct. Uh-huh. Um, um, Frank t- talks about Shawshank in a very interesting way because a, a lot of writers don't want to know about structure and don't want to know about. They right. want to be taught. They don't need. Any, they don't have to learn anything. Mm-hmm. And Frank says, "We'll tell you that. Hey, I wrote Shawshank in five weeks, but he thought about it for eight years." <laughs> Yep. Yeah. So yep. when he sat down to write, he had figured all of this out in his head structurally, character wise, where he needed a scene and why. You know, he, I mean, so he did his chart in his head. Uh, Frank doesn't need my help. Um, there's a lot of writers who do need the, this help. It, it helps a lot of threshold writers get off the dime. And I have, I have writers from my Columbia classes that are now on directing and running companies and stuff, and they still teach the heart chart. You know, to their incoming to their incoming writers, um, Shawshank Shawshank is probably one of the top ten movies ever uh, on anybody's list. Yeah, oh, it's my number one. I mean, everyone in this in this uh, look at it. It's it's character, but it's also incredibly well structured. Oh, I mean, Gil Bell, when Gil Bellows gets shot, you know, oh. you had to be you had to structure that character up to that point where you could not afford to lose him, and that's mm-hmm. the point of no return when he's dead. All bets are off. You know, right. Different ball game. Right, because we're like, he's, he's going to get out. There's hope. Oh, he's got a hope. There's hope. And bang, pulls you right now on the chart. You're up here going, okay, he's got, there's news. He's got, he's going to out him. You know, he's right. right down here. And then, of course, makes the villain, even the, the villain, even that much more villainous. And like, it yeah. completely just cements him as the absolute pure personification of evil. And by the way, that movie that the end and by the way anyone who hasn't seen Shawshank sorry spoiler alerts on all this but if he does that and you want to talk about satisfying endings yeah I mean yeah. that is that is a satisfying ending yeah. seeing him do what he did the um the uh, what's his name uh, Clancy Clancy Brown's character yeah. 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 get taken off and then he's going to basically deal with whatever he was dishing out for the last 20 years himself years. now as a prisoner yeah. 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 and then just that beautiful ending and from and, and remind, please tell me if this is true or not the original ending wasn't what Frank had in mind, from my understanding. The studio executive said, no, they need to see meet each other on the beach. And yeah. that was added after. Is that true? Yeah, that, that, yeah that's true. Yeah. Because that but, ending and, was... I, I, I do think... Well, and, and that's, that's when the footage began. I, mean, I don't know where they, where they came up with that, where they came up with it in the, in, in the editing right. or at script stage. If my, my, my whole theory is you should be able to figure that out in the script stage. You're always going to learn something new from the footage. But if you track that emotional journey of those two characters, they have to meet on the beach. They have to.